So just this morning, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair has begun urging the country to consider a second referendum vote to end what he calls the chaotic bre Brexit process. His remarks come as the country's current Prime Minister, Theresa May, has introduced her Plan B for Brexit. Here's CBS News contributor Simon Bates with how he feels about it in this week's London Calling. Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May is nothing if not consistent. She follows the tradition of if at first you don't succeed, just go on and on and on. She's been banging on about her plan to get us out of the European Union so much that everybody here, for and against, is simply fed up with it. And believe it or not, that's the strategy, to bore us all into eventually supporting her particular plan. Last week, she suffered a huge defeat in Parliament by 230 votes. But the next day, she won a vote of confidence to continue in office. And now she's unveiled Plan B. A work of madness or genius, Plan B turns out to be almost exactly the same as Plan A. The nation's jaw dropped. Some scratched their heads and said, uh, didn't we just reject that plan? And now we await the next parliamentary vote in this achingly stressful process. It'll happen on Tuesday, and there's the very small possibility that she might get the backing of enough of her legislators who voted against her Plan A. Why? Because she's simply worn us all out with sheer repetition. It's a cunning tactic, and it requires a politician of absolute steel to carry it through. The right honourable gentleman. By going back time and time again to her original suggestion, she's left us so exhausted that all we're tempted to do is cry, yes, yes, anything you want, just do it, go away. Now, she'll probably lose again on Tuesday, but if, if she pulls it off, the pressure will be on the European Union to compromise in places, and Theresa May will have pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in political history. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in London. Well, the strategy may be boring, but all that yelling and screaming in your parliament's pretty entertaining, at least for us over here on this side of the pond. Thank you, Simon.